Hey guys, okay. Well, this is the second video for today, but it'll go up tomorrow along with the, well, it'll go before the haul video um, that I'll be doing tomorrow. So there'll be three videos tomorrow, none today. Um, that is Christmas Day, Monday. Uh, and the Kid Missing video is already scheduled to go up tomorrow on its own. What am I going to say? Um, the movie. Okay. Iron Claw. It's about the Von Erics, as you know. Um, I was freaking excited to see it. Here's my ticket. Um, $15.75. Oh, I'm like, um, Tomorrow. <laughs> now, the movie was good. I thought the acting was really good. Um, more Tierney award winning performance as Doris. So I just utterly amazing. Um, uh, Holt. Holt McCallie, um, amazing as Fritz. He, he literally brought Fritz back to life. Um, let's see. And the people who played the boys did well. It's hard because they didn't look at all like the boys. Uh, David was the one they got the closest to, I think. Um, he did all right with Carrie, too, but I, it's harder to suspend your disbelief when they're people you know what they're supposed to look like and they don't look remotely like them. You know, that that's harder. Um, a whole to look just like Fritz. Um, Maura Tierney didn't look like Doris, she had dark hair. Doris was a blonde. But, anyway, um, um, they of course cut Chris from the movie, you know that. Um, and I understand it. I'm not upset about it. Um, the timeline was wonky. I don't know if that's just, like, a movie thing or what in the world happened, but the timing was just wonk city. It was not good. Oh, here's the other one. I knew I had two of these. Here's the other ticket. Okay, these are both going to go in my thing, so they're going to go in my room. Um, how is it that Mike's, Mike dies, and the next scene you see Kevin fighting Ric Flair a year before Mike died? What? <laughs> um, yeah. They kind of glossed over Carrie's accident. They showed him riding on his bike. Made it look like it happened the night he won the world title, which it didn't. Um, so that timeline was off. And Kevin telling him to be careful, and then in, in the next scene he has one foot. And it was like... It was a little bit confusing, I think. My, my cousin got it. You know, that he lost it in the accident, but there was more to it than that. They saved that foot only for him to get up and crush it because he's, he put weight on it. But they never mentioned that. And ow, Mike's toxic shock, the timeline on that was Wonk City, too. Yes, he had the surgery. It didn't happen in surgery. Which is what it made it sound like. He was already home after the surgery 
when he became ill and had that fever, which was going up for days. Um, they clearly showed that he had brain damage after that. You know, the year of 106 is just, yeah. Um, so, um, at the end they did a scene where they showed Mike Carrie, David, and the baby that died, they mentioned, but obviously they didn't show that. Um, the little boy that died. Um, all together in heaven. So. So, yeah. Um... Trying to think. The Zach Efron was amazing as Kevin. Like I said, for me, as someone who knows what they look like and what they should look like, it made it harder for me to watch. <laughs> because nobody looked like anybody. Except, I think, Holt looked like Fritz to a greater degree than the other ones and I think the gentleman playing David they did a good job with that Efron doesn't look like Kevin <laughs> you know um, and I think that the actors who played other wrestlers like Ric Flair cut a promo and Harley Race cut a promo and and they wrestled. Oh my goodness. I think <laughs> they thought they had to be over the top. Because they're over the top personalities. So I think the actors thought they had to be over the top. But they overdid it. In both cases, in my opinion. <laughs> the Ric Flair was a little better. The Harley Race was not Harley Race, you know, like, I know he's not Harley Race, but if he'd have studied Harley Race, he would have known how to speak. Um, and he would have called himself Handsome Harley Race. Um, but I don't know that this guy studied Harley Race too, too much. Um, because he, <laughs> yeah, he clearly didn't, um, <laughs> at any rate, he, um, the guy who did Ric Flair, obviously he studied Ric Flair to some degree, but he, he tried to be a little too over the top, because that's what he thought it should be, but it didn't have to be that over the top, so, in my opinion. Now, MJF played Lance Von Erich. The only show of Lance Von Erich was a match that he was in, a tag match with Kevin, where he refused to tag Kevin, and he won the match, and Kevin didn't look happy. Um, so it was a partner of Kevin's, but it was never explained who this person was. I knew who it was because I knew it was MJF in a horrible blonde wig. So I knew it was supposed to be fake Cousin Lance, but they never went into that. When they said he was playing him, I thought they would show them in the locker room or show them with their dad saying, look, dad, this is stupid. Now, they could have left the scene where Mike's trying to get in the bathroom and David's in the shower, pleasing himself, totally out of the movie. Totally didn't need that. 
and they could have put something else. They could have left that on the cutting room floor and should have. It was distasteful. <laughs> it was distasteful to, well, it was it was distasteful as far as the movie goes. It was disrespectful to, I know it's a normal human thing, but to me, he's dead. It was disrespectful to him to put that out there. I'm sorry. It's just my opinion. There was absolutely no need of it in the movie. None. Um, so I think they could have taken that five minutes and they could have done a better job telling Mike's story maybe or a better job explaining why Carrie was so alone and desperate, which they didn't explain at all. It made it sound like to someone who didn't know that the reason that he wanted to kill himself was because they were putting him on house shows and they, excuse me, they weren't re-signing him, the World Wrestling Federation. But that's not why. He was going to prison for forging prescriptions. You know, there were little pieces that could have been cut out that those pieces could have been put in. Like I said, that scene with David was unnecessary. And I think it should have been cut. That little scene with David and Mike. That should have been cut. That was nasty. So anyway, <laughs> it is human and natural, okay? But it's also private and personal. And you didn't have to put it in a movie. My opinion. Anyway, so I think that if they had scrapped that, they could have perhaps fixed the timeline a little bit or maybe put... It, they never even mentioned that Doris left Fritz. They see Fritz coming in and she's not cooking. She's painting. Um, he asks her what's for, what she's doing. She's painting. And so what's for dinner? She's like, I'm not hungry. I didn't cook. And he's just kind of standing there like, what in the world is going on, you know? And so I think that, whew, if I had to give it a grade, A through F, I think that I would probably give it between a C plus and a B minus. Like I said, the wonky timeline I also think that, now, <laughs> I went to the ladies' room when Fritz was telling the boys, right after David died and they had buried him, Fritz was telling the boys that one of them was getting the title at Parade of Champions. And I came back and Carrie's got the title. And then has his accident, like, that night, which didn't happen. And... I'm confused. I said to my cousin, I said, they didn't show anything about Parade of Champions while I was in the bathroom. She said, no. After they, after Fritz talked to them, then Carrie came home with the title. You've got to be kidding me. Instead of that scene that I mentioned earlier, you could have put in the girl singing Heaven Needed a Champion. It wouldn't have been a dry eye in the freaking theater. Um, at Parade of Champions. You already had Ric Flair in it. Why not show the ending of the match? Flair said at that time, he said, I understand why they were giving Carrie the title, but Carrie was a mess even then. And there was no way, you know. And so... They did give it back to Flair. Gary had to win with a backslide. That's how much of a mess he was. And like I said, it's it's not good.
good. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, it's it's terrible. I have to take this with me tomorrow. Um, at any rate, not good. Um, in those terms. It was focused on Kevin. Um, because he's the only surviving brother, and I get that. And I don't have a problem with that. Carrie didn't have many lines, surprisingly. Um, Kevin trained... The other, well, except for maybe David. David, the reason that they, the NWA chose David to be world champion before he died was because David, uh, these are my opinions, but they're educated opinions, was the best all around. Kevin was the best technical wrestler of the bunch, but, um, I mean, he could fly, he could wrestle on the mat, he could do everything. Um, that being said, David was the best all around. David was the best on the mic. He had the most charisma. He could wrestle. Um, so, David, and David had... A different kind of experience than his brothers. He had a more he had more rounded wrestling experience. He had gone other places. He had been a heel, which none of his brothers ever had been. Um, a bad guy. And he had gone other places and gotten experience other places. Things that his brothers, I mean Kevin did later, but things that his brothers didn't do. So he was the one. And I think when he died, it should have been Kevin, not Carrie, at Night of Champions. I've said that. And I'm not Night of Champions, Parade of Champions. It was the David Von Erich Memorial Show. Why would you not include that in the movie? I, I don't understand that. I did like that they gave insight into Mike. Um... Mike was a musician, he was a singer, played multiple instruments. Um, oh, ow. Oof. Ow. Ow. Anyway, um, so he was talented in his own way. He just wasn't fit for wrestling. Um, and that should have been okay. Yeah, they never mentioned that Doris actually left Fritz. And, you know, Hulk talked about later on getting thinner again as Fritz was dying. They never showed that. So, I don't know if that got left on the cutting room floor or what, but, I mean, it was two hours and 12 minutes. They did what they could, but I think things could have been shuffled around. Like I said, there are scenes that didn't need to be there that explanatory scenes could have been in place of.
And remember, these are my opinions. I'm not going to spoil the whole darn thing for you. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you my opinions of what I watched. So. Um, and if it helps make your decision whether to watch it, uh, great. Would I recommend seeing it? Yeah, I would. When it comes out on DVD and it has extras and stuff, I'm going to buy it. Because I want to see the extras and stuff. You know, cast interviews and all that good stuff. So, I will buy it. Absolutely. And add it to my wrestling collection. But, like I said, Overall, and I did tell my cousin the timeline was Wonk E, Wonk City. So, anyway. I don't want to bore you, and I want to be able to edit this tomorrow, so. Um, anyway, like I said, I recommend it, yes. Could it have been better? Yeah. The timeline could have been better. There could have been more explanations of things. Um, I will say that they did show something that I mentioned, which is showing people as real people. They showed them backstage with Bruiser Brody and um, Jano Hernandez going over the match. It was going to be David's first match in world class, and Brody's like, well, we're going to show Dave, you know, and... I'm glad they showed them as real people. Um, and the guy who played oh, the guy who played the commentator was almost laughable. I know what he was trying to do. He was trying to get his mannerisms, but wow! <laughs> it was funny. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Um also interestingly boy's last name was legally changed to Von Erich, which was actually their grandmother's maiden name, Fritz's mom's maiden name. And, um, but when Kevin had his first baby, they called him Adkisson. So, which is also their last name. Um, thank you so much for joining me, guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas.